Hello everyone and thanks for joining me today. Again, we are doing a cleaning video today and I'm so glad you joined me to get some cleaning done and hopefully you'll join right along with me. Um, now, in the last week or so, we have been sick. Um, just this stomach bug that's going around. It's not been a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, for the past week or so, we've all been kind of taking our turns being sick and you know, laying around and trying to get better. Um, so, as you can imagine, um, you know how a house starts to feel and it just feels um, like you're cooped up and it just feels like a, a sick house <laughs> after a week of sick people. Um, so, that's what we're going to be focusing on today. Um, just kind of airing out, refreshing the house, just trying to get a few things back in order. Um, I myself am not feeling 100% yet, um, but I'm going to do what I can to just get things a little more, bit more back to normal if we can. So what I wanted to do first of all was to just open up the blinds in the windows. Just um, open up the windows and, and also along with that just open up all the curtains on the windows and just let in some light and although the sun was behind the clouds on this day. This beautiful snow that we had on the ground um, just brought in so much bright light in those windows and it just brightened up the house and that in itself just made it feel so much better inside already. So then after I got a little bit more light in the house, um, I also wanted to go ahead and just strip out all the beds, get all the bedding off, just get everything washed, cleaned, and refreshed again um, just to just in case there were still some stomach bugs hiding in our um, blankets and on our sheets and stuff. And along with that, I wanted to wash up all the throw pillows, or the covers for the throw pillows, as well as the throw blankets. Um, they have been used quite a lot in the last week with us just, you know, lounging around and not feeling the greatest. So I wanted to wash those as well and just get them fresh, um, smelling clean again. And then after I got um, a load of laundry started, I wanted to start out in the kitchen to start off with. And I wasn't sure how much I'm going to get done today. Um, we're just going to see how I feel and how much I get done. I'm not going to try to push myself. So whatever we get done is fine. And I hope you enjoy the day and coming along with me as I try to get some cleaning done. So here we are out in the kitchen. It looks like it's been abandoned for the past week, which it kind of has, I guess. Um, so it just needs some cleaning up. Um, there's dishes everywhere. Yeah, we've just not really been out here um, doing more than we really have to. So we're going to go ahead and just get started here. And I'm first of all going to just unload the dishwasher and get all those dishes put away. And then we're going to go ahead and just put the dirty dishes into the dishwasher. And then we'll go from there.
All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just get some oil diffusing here. This is the Immune Boost, and I like this one for this time of the year especially, um, just, yeah, for overall health and things like that. And I'll try to link this one in the description box um, if this is something that you're interested in. So next we're just gonna move over here to the table and I'm gonna start by just wiping down um, this center turntable here and get this thing clean. And then we're gonna go ahead and wipe down the tabletop as well. So now I'm just going to start with this big pile of towels and laundry that I had over here. Um, yeah, the laundry was really piling up. So I'm trying to, yeah, after I get all the bedding washed and dried, um, trying to get caught up with the laundry. Um, but it's kind of a mound. So we're just going to start here with what is clean here and just folding all the towels and putting them away. All right, and now that that is done, it's looking so much better in the kitchen already. And we are just gonna go ahead and start wiping down all of these chairs and just um, getting them clean again. And by the way, I'm using mostly my Norwex cloths for cleaning today. Um, I like these, especially when there's sick people in your house. These have silver in um, the microfiber, and this just helps to get rid of all that um, yucky bacteria, the germs and things. It just gets everything sanitized and clean, um, so you don't have to worry about spreading those germs onto someone else. Um, so that's, I'm using all of my Norwex cloths today mostly for uh, my cleaning and I will try and link some of these of um, especially of my favorites below in the description box so you can check them out and see what you think. Um, you only clean with water so that's great and you don't need any extra cleaners. 
and also I am trying to switch over to more of a cleaner um, products for my cleaners and laundry soap and stuff and so um, the products that I am switching over to is now in the description box as well so you can go check it out and I would love to see um, how you like it and know what you think. All right, and here I am using my last bit of Mrs. Meyers cleaners for the countertop here in the center. And after I got done um, spraying this down, uh, the jar was empty. And then after I had done, um, after I was done wiping down the countertops, I did see there was a few stains over here um, close to the sink. So I did get my magic eraser out just to get those cleaned again. And now onto the sink and I used the last bit of my barkeeper's friend for the sinks. Um, I had enough to get the sinks cleaned and I just love the look of a nice clean sink. They're so nice and shiny and they just look so clean.
All right, and we are on to mopping. And I wasn't sure if I was going to mop today just because I was getting kind of tired feeling. Um, but I went ahead and um, tried to mop. And with this mop, I was so impressed. It was not hard to mop at all. And yeah, I got it done in a hurry. And I just really like this mop. The more that I use it, the more that I, the more I like it. And here we are in the kitchen after everything is cleaned and it looks so much better. Um, I did pick up the rug and I'm going to wash that as well, um, but I'm so happy with a clean kitchen again. Okay, so we're going to take a little break here in the cleaning and I want to share with you about Skillshare, which is our sponsor today. I'm so thankful for them sponsoring today's video. Um, so Skillshare is an online learning community. If you haven't heard of them yet, um, it's where there's thousands of different classes that you can take. Um, there's millions of people that come on, you know, to take classes and to um, just learn more things um, if you want to learn a new hobby or something. Some of the things that they have are like photography, um, if you enjoy it, like graphic design, or if you just need some productivity help, um, just some inspiration to learn something new or dig a little deeper into something that you enjoy already. So one thing that's neat about Skillshare is their classes are around 60 minutes or less and they're broken up into small segments, you know, five minutes at a time or so. So if you don't have a lot of time, um, you know, in one sitting to just sit down and watch. Um, you can, you know, do a lesson here and there. And so before you know it, you have a lesson already done. And so that's one thing that I like about it. You know, you don't have to just do a whole lesson at a time. You can just do it at your own pace. However much time you have is you have a little bit of time to learn something. So here are a few of the classes that I've been watching and learning from. And I just love this, that there's so many different topics that you can um, just explore and learn new things. And so whatever you're interested in, you know, you can find a topic. Someone is teaching something on that topic. Now Skillshare is made specifically for learning and education, so there are no ads or anything like that that you have to sit through, and it's less than $10 a month with their annual subscription service, which is amazing. But for my first 1,000 subscribers that click the link in the description box, you will get a free premium trial membership of Skillshare to um, search it out for yourself and see how you like it. All right, and now the bedding had been washed and cleaned um, at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and start in the kids' room and just putting on all their bedding and the bedding smells so good. And it'll be so nice to go to sleep tonight and know that all their beds are cleaned and they're fresh. And now we're just going to go ahead and get all the toys picked up and get the room straightened up.
so I'm going to use some of this carpet odor eliminator um, just to freshen up the carpet skin and I'm going to put this on the carpet and then you leave it set for I think like 15 minutes um, before you vacuum it up. And Chloe, she came along and wanted to help me vacuum. Um, so she went back and forth with me um, with Jameson's big flip flops on. <laughs> All right, and here is the kids' room, all cleaned up, and it looks so fresh and ready to play in again. All right, and now we are moving on to our bedroom. I'm gonna start here with the bed, get the sheets and the comforter on.
all right and we have our bedroom all done as well and now this is pretty much all that I got done today but I'm so glad I got the kitchen and our bedrooms done at least um, now we can go to bed with nice clean bedding and we can wake up tomorrow morning and the kitchen is nice and clean so thanks so much again for staying with me today and I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time bye